Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a internal uh, glow cheat for CSGO. Um, we're going to be coding in C++ today. So let's get into it. So open up Visual Studio. Create a new project. We're going to do an empty C++ project. Call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it uh, internal internal underscore glow um, underscore uh, tutorial. Alright, press create. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the project name up here, go to properties, change the configuration type to DLL because an internal cheat is a DLL that you inject into the process um, versus running it as an exe. So we're going to change, uh, we're also going to go to advanced, change character set to be multi byte. Press apply and OK. So now that both of those things are done, we can add a source file. So go to add, new item, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to be calling it DLL main. Press enter and it should create it. So now we're going to include windows.h and we're also going to include uh, iostream. So once we have those things included, we're going to work on our first, uh, our first function. This is going to be the function that actually calls our thread or creates the thread rather. Um, so DLL main, bool, API entry DLL main, then we're gonna do H module, H module, comma, then we're gonna do D word uh, UL underscore reason underscore for underscore call. I do LP void. Sorry, LP void. And then LP reserved. Alright. And now we're gonna do um, switch UL underscore reason for call and then we're going to do case case dll underscore process underscore attach all right and then we're going to do close handle and then create thread null pointer zero lp thread underscore start routine and then we're going to call a function. So we're going to go up here and we're going to create it. So it's going to be a D word win API. And then I'm going to just call it main thread. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then we're going to do H module, H module. And then just some brackets there. So once we have this, we're going to go back to our parentheses. Um, or not our parentheses, but our DLL main. And then inside of the parentheses, we're going to put the name of our function, our main thread. So put that in, and then we're going to do H module, and then we're going to do zero and null pointer, and then just do some commas, or not, sorry, uh, do a semicolon. Then we're going to do case deal underscore thread underscore attach. All right, then we can just duplicate this uh, three times, change it to be uh, detach here, and then just do... Uh, DLL underscore process underscore detach. Alright, and once we have that, we're just going to do a break there. And then just go below uh, the brackets uh, for the switch statement and then return true. And once we have that, we can go into our main thread and start coding our glow cheat. So we're going to do D word module base. Um, module base, and this is going to be equal to d word get module address sorry uh, get module handle um, and then we're going to put in the name of our module um, since csgo ours is client.dll put that in there uh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about when I say modules and um, all that stuff uh, go to my either c++ or python video on writing memory deployers and it'll help you a lot and just help you understand what we're doing here. Um, so yeah, and it'll teach you how to apply it to any game uh, rather than just CSGO. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use my offset dumper to dump um, offsets, creating a header file that we can just include so we can easily um, access uh, offsets. So um, I'll put, in the link, uh, put a link to it in the description like I do in every video. So we just launch it, 
and it should create, yep, uh, files right here. So csgo.h is one right there. So we're just going to go right here and then just hit uh, copy. All right. Or you know what, you can just uh, right click on it, go open with notepad, and then just control A, control C. And then you can go over to, see, uh, to uh, Visual Studio, go to header files, add, new item, call it, I don't know, offsets.h. And then you can just um, paste in all of that. So then we're going to go uh, back to DLL main. And then we're going to do uh, include, hashtag include, offsets.h. We can close out offsets.h, by the way. And then we're going to do um, our main uh, glow, glow stuff, I guess. So while uh, not get async key state. So basically this is going to say, as long as whatever key is not being pressed, we're going to execute these actions. So whenever you press whatever key, so I'm doing vk underscore n, the end key. So whenever the end key is pressed, it'll just not, it'll stop doing whatever is in this function or whatever's in this loop. So uh, we're going to do d word local player. And um, as I talked about in my writing memory to pointers video, or just like a pointers video, like introduction pointers, um, we were talking about, uh, like I did a get pointer address function. We don't need this because we're doing it a little bit differently. Um, so basically, we're adding these, uh, the module base address uh, to a, uh, the offset that is in our offsets.h file. So we're going to be adding um, module base, the base address of client.dll. We are adding that to um, the pointer, or is it DW local player? We don't need to find it, but we can just reference it right here DW local player. All right, and we're also going to be doing this um, for a few other things. So we're going to be doing it twice more with Glow Object Manager, um, pointer, uh, D word pointer, and then we're going to be doing module base, and then plus DW Glow Object Manager. All right. Uh, there's one more we're going to do. We're going to do the entity list, DW entity list. Uh, so D word pointer. Uh, module base and then just add that to DW entity list that is not DW entity list, DW entity list there we go alright, so once we have that done we're going to create an integer, we're going to call it uh, local team and this is just going to be um, saying the uh, uh, the number of our local team so we're going to do local player plus m underscore i team num just getting the, like I said, the number of our local team. So this way we can um, basically set the glow color depending on what team um, you're on. Um, or, yeah, the, the enemy team and your team. So now we're going to loop through all 32 entities. Um, so we're going to do for int i equals 1. And then we're going to do i is less than 32, and then i++. plus plus. All right. We'll put some brackets here. And then we're going to do dword entity. So we're just defining what uh, the entity is, what an entity is. Uh, so dword pointer. And we're going to do uh, module base. And then we're going to add that to dw entity list. Um, and then we're going to be doing plus i times 0x10, basically we're looping through all 32 like I said with i, and then we're just multiplying it by 0x10, which is uh, each entity in the um, memory. So we're going to do if entity equals null, equals equals null, and then we're just going to uh, continue. Alright, once we have that, we're going to do int below index, and this is going to be equal to uh, int pointer and then entity plus m underscore i glow index. All right. And then we're going to do int entity team equals int pointer entity plus m underscore i team num. All right. So if you see here, we did uh, for the local team, we did local player plus m underscore i team num. 
So that's getting our local t our local players team, and then entity team is just getting the enemy team. Um, so we're gonna do if entity team, well not the enemy team, but just the the entities team. Uh, so if entity team equals local team. So what this is saying is if this is our um, this will be our players team. So we're gonna say local team, and then we can um, actually write to the pointers. Um, or right, right to the yeah, right to the pointers uh, for the glow. So we're gonna do a flow pointer. All right, and then we're gonna do uh, glow object manager. Uh, make sure it's not DW glow ob object manager, but actually uh, glow object manager. Like we made uh, this variable here, DW glow object manager. Um, so that's going to be we're gonna do glow object manager plus glow index. And then times 0x38 plus 0x4. And then we're going to just set that equal to 0.f just to show that it's a float. Um, and then put a semicolon there. Um, and the reason that we're doing 0 is just because this is the red channel. So uh, we're going to do RGBA. So I'm going to make my local team uh, green. So I'm just going to duplicate this two more times. Uh, I'm just going to change this to be G and this to be. You don't have to write these comments if you don't want to. Uh, the slashes here. Um, I'm just going to. Um, and then we want to go right here. Uh, change this to be 8. Uh, change this one to be C for the RGB values. So, like I said, I'm going to make my uh, local players green. So, I'm going to change the uh, green channel uh, float to be 1. Alright, and then I'm going to duplicate this one last time. And then we're going to do. Uh, 0x10 this time and this is going to be the alpha channel and I'm just going to set it to 1.7 that way it really glows um, alright and then we're just going to copy this actually we're just going to copy this bit right here uh, we're going to do else and then paste it in there and then say enemy team alright so I'm going to make the enemy team I'll do red um, and that's all we have to change, just change the value there. Um, and then we're going to go outside of these parentheses right here. And we're going to do bool pointer, bool pointer. Uh, boolean is true or false, if you didn't know that. Um, glow object manager plus glow index. This is just enabling the glow. So 0x38 plus. 0x24, and then we're going to set this to true, we're going to duplicate this, change this to 0x25, and then set it to false, okay, so once we have that, we're going to go down to the second to last parentheses, I guess, here, so uh, outside of the while get async key state bit, we're just going to do free library and exit thread. Alright, and then I'm going to do H module and zero. And put a semicolon. And then I'm just going to return zero. Alright, so once we have this done, we can launch CSGO. And before we do that, we're going to build the, uh, build the DLL. So just go build, uh, click build solution. And then it should make a DLL here. Yep. So I'm just going to copy this path. Uh, you can just you don't need to copy the DLL, just copy the folder that it's in. And I'm going to go into CSGO. Alright, so once I'm in the game, um, I'm just going to open up my injector. I'm using a list injector, I'll be linking this in a list, uh, linking it to the description, so you can download it for yourself. We're going to go to process name, select CSGO, add DLL, just copy in the path that um, the path of your DLL, press enter, and then just select the DLL, press manual map inject, and as you can see, our local players are glowing uh, green, and the enemies are red. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, um, I'll be making some more C++ internal videos soon, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.